Welcome to the Declaration of Independence, a study guide. This video will discuss the reasons the Declaration was written and some of the principles included in the document. By the year 1776, the English colonists had reached the end of their tolerance for British interference in their colonial governments, as well as their decision to levy taxes on the colonists without the benefit of representatives in Parliament. The decision had been made in the Second Continental Congress to separate from England and create a new independent country. A committee consisting of Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Robert Livingston, and Roger Sherman was given the task of writing a Declaration of Independence. The committee then chose Thomas Jefferson to be the primary author of the Declaration. He wrote day and night for three days until he completed what he thought was a document that clearly expressed the feelings of the majority of the colonists in America. Jefferson then presented his finished document to the rest of the committee for approval or revisions. They did remove his statements about slavery and several other revisions were made to the document. What was the purpose of the Declaration of Independence? The colonists felt the need to justify their decision to separate from England to the world. They wanted the world to accept their new country and continue to trade with the colonies. Because of that, they felt it was important that the world be aware of the ways they felt England had failed them and thereby pushed them to make this dramatic decision. When writing the Declaration, Jefferson called on the arguments of many Enlightenment philosophers like John Locke. Some of the government principles and beliefs that were included in the Declaration were the idea that all men are created equal, that all men have unalienable rights or rights given to them by God that cannot be taken away by governments. They also included the idea that government only exists if the people agree to be governed. Jefferson also introduced the belief that people had the right to rebel or revolt against a government that takes away their rights and to create a new government to put in its place. Jefferson finished the Declaration by stating that the United Colonies are free and independent states no longer under the rule of England or its King. The majority of the Declaration of Independence lists 26 grievances or complaints that the colonists leveled against the King of England, as well as a discussion of the many attempts the colonists had made to work with England and explain their concerns to the King. Now I won't read all 26 grievances, but you may view them on the next three slides. I will, however, point out and read select few from each slide. The Declaration cited the disbanding of colonial legislatures, the demand that the colonists give up the right of representation, the prevention of immigration and naturalization, the refusal to pass laws or appoint judges without making the judges dependent on the king to be paid. And troops were sent to the colonies in peacetime, and they were raised in power above the civil governments. Laws were then passed that violated the colony's own constitutions, and taxation continued as well as a cutting off of colonial trade. Charters were taken away and war was waged against the colonies, including encouraging the Native Americans to attack and abolishing the free system of English laws by introducing the idea of absolute rule in the colonies. And now you know a little bit about the Declaration of Independence.